We have here our cord locks and pulleys, and I want to point out that we have three different cord locks. This cord lock is a two-wire, three-slot cord lock, and this will hold a maximum of six cords. And note, too, that the base of this is only three-quarters of an inch wide. And this particular cord lock has the same number of wires, but the slots are bigger, and this will hold a maximum of ten cords. And this one has the four wires and the five slots, and this will hold a maximum of ten cords as well. You'll notice the bases on these two cord locks are larger, and they can be used in conjunction with our pulleys, or you can use them with our screw eyes. If you want your shade to operate very smoothly, I would suggest using pulleys in a cord lock versus the screw eyes, just because the pulleys as you can see, they have a small wheel inside here, and this wheel turns as the cord rolls over the top of it versus being dragged through a screw eye. And you'll notice that the base of this pulley is wider than the base of this one. So you want to make sure, depending on the cord lock that you choose, that you match up the bases properly. All of these cord locks and pulleys are available in both white and black. And I have a piece of one by two here just to show you. This is an inch and a half wide. It's three quarters of an inch thick. And most people, when they do their Roman shades, will install it on the wall in this manner. So the shade hangs off of the front. And then you'll have your, your shade system underneath here. And you can see that the base of the narrower, I'll show you these two are narrower. These actually fit on the three-quarter inch side. So if you're doing a shade and you want it to lay flat against the wall, you can install this way and actually screw this right into the wall versus using an angle iron. I also want to note the different sizes of our lift cord and all of these pulleys and cord locks can be used with any of our lift cords. I'll lay these out for you. They come in several different colors. Each size comes in a variety of colors. We've got the 1.8 millimeter, the 1.4 millimeter, and the 0.9 millimeter. And again, our cord locks and pulleys, you can use any of these cords with them. And one very important thing to note is that the maximum lifting weight for each of these cord locks is a little bit different. The smaller cord lock that has the three-quarter inch base has a maximum lifting weight of 20 pounds. The larger cord locks, both of these two, can handle 22 pounds. You want to make sure that if your shade is on the heavier side that you do use the larger cord lock with the larger base. And you also want to make sure that you use either the 1.8 or the 1.4 millimeter lift cord. Now I have had questions as to whether or not you could use these larger base pulleys and cord locks in this manner. And I would say even though that fits and only hangs off a tiny bit, we would not recommend using these larger sizes and mounting on the edge of your board. You would want to definitely turn the board this way and mount in that manner. It's perfectly fine if you're using the narrower pulley and the narrower cord lock to go ahead and mount this way. This way. As you can see, when I turn this up, the entire base fits on that with no overhang. So if you do mount in this manner, you want to make sure that you do use the smaller base pulley and the smaller base cord lock. We'll be showing you in another clip how to thread the cord lock.